Mosaic is brought to you by these generous sponsors and underwriters. Learn how you can support Mosaic by visiting jewishpalmbeach.org. Good morning. I'm Barbara Kay here with Susan Pertnoy and welcome to Mosaic, Jewish Federation of Palm Beach County's weekly news magazine show. Mosaic explores Jewish topics here in the Palm Beaches and around the world. The Jewish population of the Palm Beaches is expected to nearly double over the next decade. And today we'll talk to professionals in the Jewish community who are tasked with the figuring out of how to engage the surge of young Jewish families in ways that are innovative and meaningful. We'll talk to a Jewish family on what exactly they're looking for from the Jewish community. And then we'll sit down with the founder of the groundbreaking PJ Library program, which has connected tens of thousands of families around the world with Jewish values in a very, very unique way. We'll be back right after this. Please consider supporting Mosaic's generous sponsors at Bruce Gendelman Insurance Services. Visit Gendelman.com today for your expert consultation. The all-new Bremen Porsche, a world-class experience. Club Bremen is amazing. World-class dedication. It's the most exciting thing. I recommend it to anybody. I don't care what your skill level is. World-class excitement. I think it's a great brand. These cars are designed to go this fast. World-class performance. They took me out to the track to uh, race the car. Anyone that wants to get a Porsche, Bremen is the place to go. The all-new Bremen Porsche, a world-class experience. Interested in a different kind of Israel travel experience? Join dozens of local community members for a personalized journey through Israel during the country's 70th year of independence. Israel Your Way is Jewish Federation community mission to Israel in June 2018. Five immersive tracks will explore Israel's technology and innovation, arts and culture and cuisine, spirituality and religion, politics and security, and even a track for first-timers and families. Learn more and sign up while there's still space at IsraelYourWay.org. The tower at Morse Life has standards so high, we had to invent them. Call home a luxury rental community with a full continuum of unmatched high-quality care at your doorstep and a rich, fulfilling lifestyle catered for you. Enjoy every day with a full menu of activities and five-star services. Elevate your thinking about how you deserve to live now and all the beautiful extras that are yours at the Levin Tower at Morse Life. It just feels like home. Secure your lease today. We're here with Rabbi Erica Rosenkranz, the Director of Community Engagement for the Federation, and Amy Bergman, who's the Director of Jewish Family Life at the Friedman Commission for Jewish Education. Welcome, ladies, to the program. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, tell us about yourselves and then a little bit about what you do for your organizations. You want to start? Sure. Um, I'm the Director of Jewish Community Engagement, and Part of my job at the Federation is to supervise the Volunteer Center, which has been growing and amazing, to supervise the teen program that we have, and also to work with all the synagogues in our area. So obviously that, all those jobs really um, correlate with Jewish families in our community, so in different ways. And as you said, I am the Director of Jewish Family Life at the Friedman Commission for Jewish Education. And what I do is I help local families raising young children um, engage and find Jewish opportunities in our community. We also implement the PJ Library and the PJ Our Way program that helps us identify the families when they sign up for these free Jewish books. And then we help them find Jewish learning opportunities, Jewish programs in the community. And we work with our partners to plan some wonderful engagement programs throughout the community all year long. That, that's uh, really a, a, a terrific opportunity for our community. How do you feel uh, young families are today in terms of wanting to participate in our Jewish community? 
I'll go first. Um, yeah, sure. our, I find that um, through the Volunteer Center, we find tons of families wanting to participate and teach their children Jewish values. And they want to do that by doing and doing hands-on experiences that are going to be life-changing and to see how, you know, what they can do to help others um, to make an impact. And we have found that um, we've had, you know, two-year-olds and 15-year-olds and 20-year-olds and all different ages of, you know, family families and their parents and grandparents, it's amazing, come together to help really make a difference in our community. So we actually partner with the JCC this year um, in Boynton Beach, and we had a program called Feeding Children Everywhere. So the Volunteer Center and the JCC Cares, which is what they call it, came together and we packed two, um, 40,000 meals to be given to those in need in our community. So we gave them to the Palm Beach County Food Bank and they distributed them to people here in our community that needed it. So the families really felt the difference that they were making right here in our local community. And what about you, Amy? What does the CJE do? So um, the way that we engage with families, um, besides also sharing with them wonderful opportunities like this, where they can do mitzvot or um, instill Jewish values in their children, we also work with our partners to plan wonderful programs. And also, we find that families are really seeking um, Jewish experiences for their home. They want to build upon their traditions at home, or they want to start new traditions. So we at the Friedman Commission try very hard to provide resources for them um, in a very non-threatening way um, so that they can do Jewish at home as well. Um, that's a big, big push here and what families are telling us they want. Um, some of that is inspired by these PJ Library books that are coming to their homes that have Jewish values and Jewish holidays in the stories. And from that, it sparks an interest, and that's what we do. Well, I think um, you need to do that because with intermarriage and statistically, you know, it's more difficult today to engage young families. So you have to be creative in how you approach the opportunities. Uh, as a matter of fact, with PJ Library, do, do you go into the preschools and, yes. and use them as there's tools? A, yes, there's actually a wonderful um, initiative called PJ Goes to School, not only in the preschools, but in the religious schools, where Jewish values and the PJ Library books are infused into whatever curriculum is being used at those schools, and it really enhances the learning experiences at all of our preschools here and our religious schools. So that's a wonderful program that we offer um, through the Commission for Jewish Education. I mean, I think the key is to really meet people where they're at. So I think that's why PJ Library is so successful and why some of the volunteer center and teen programs are so successful too, because we're trying to find out what the families need and want, what's going to engage them and then providing them with exactly what they want and need. Well, I actually so. think what you're doing with the hands-on um, community service type events are, are things that people touch and feel and they really enjoy that participation, like they really are making a difference. Yeah, it's amazing. It's truly amazing to see, so, you know, so these are mostly non-affiliated people too, so that's also an amazing thing. So we're getting people that have not been engaged or in Jewish life at all, and now we're coming into the doors and then hopefully they'll do PJ Library and some other great programs at the JCC and filter into some of the other things that they'll find interest in as well. How do you see dealing with the influx of so many new Jewish families for the future and engaging them in our Jewish community? I think it's really exciting, and I think if we continue to do these great programs that really meet people where they're at, we're going to continue to engage more and more people that are coming into our community. I, I agree. Um, part of my role is to act as a concierge to our Jewish community, welcoming new people who move here. Um, and the work that we do with them is trying to connect them to Jewish learning opportunities or any experiences here that they are seeking. Uh, it's a really important part of what we do. We try really hard, um, like you say, to reach them where they're at. We use a lot of social media to reach families and to draw them into our Jewish community so that they know we're here and that we care. Well, it's a very important aspect of what our federation and agencies do. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for all of your work, and thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you. you. Coming up, a local Jewish family explains what exactly they're looking for from the Jewish community. Please consider supporting Mosaic sponsors at Lesser Lesser Landy and Smith. Visit LesserLawFirm.com to learn more.
Your vehicle deserves world-class service. Here at Brayman Motor Cars, you can drop off your car with confidence that you will receive the highest quality service from our certified technicians and Brayman Motor Cars staff. Take advantage of our complimentary cafe, Starbucks coffee, and customer lounge equipped with Wi-Fi while you wait for your vehicle. Yet another reason why you should join Club Brayman. A world-class experience is the Brayman Motor Cars difference. Now at West Palm Beach and Jupiter. Interested in a different kind of Israel travel experience? Join dozens of local community members for a personalized journey through Israel during the country's 70th year of independence. Israel Your Way is Jewish Federation community mission to Israel in June 2018. Five immersive tracks will explore Israel's technology and innovation, arts and culture and cuisine, spirituality and religion, politics and security, and even a track for first-timers and families. Learn more and sign up while there's still space at IsraelYourWay.org. Our lives are made of memories, but when those memories start to fade, your happiness shouldn't follow. At Morse Life's Memory Care Residences, your loved one is safe and secure with the very best care from our staff who are specially trained to work with memory loss. The greatest luxury of all is the peace of mind that awaits at the gold standard memory care residences at Morse Life. Find the life you love again. Secure your lease today. The Memory Care Residences at Morse Life. Joining us are Mandy and David Friedlander, a young couple that are very active in our Jewish community. So tell me, what exactly do you do with our Jewish community? So both of our children are involved at the GCC in Boynton Beach. Our son is in preschool there and our daughter goes to aftercare there. That's a new program they started this year. She gets bused from Murakami Park Elementary to the GCC. Um, and Dave's involved in the board as well. Yep, I serve as a member on the board of the J. And we've uh, participated in several events and, and co-chaired several events. And why is it so important to be involved in our Jewish community? I think it brings us a sense of home. Um, we're not from here. We moved here nine years ago from Chicago, and um, Dave's originally from D.C. Um, and we were both brought up in Jewish households and have that sense of community, that sense of home. And to have that same thing here, it, it allows us to continue that lifestyle that we were brought up with. No, likewise, my father's a former uh, president of the JCC in Virginia, and, and our parents have always been involved. So it's important to us to both continue that, that and, 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 and have a part, uh, a part in, in our local community. And why do you think it's important for young families to be connected to the community? I think it, it continues, the life, like I said, the lifestyle that we are brought up with um, and brings the Jewish um, community more together. Um, you see a lot more interfaith marriages, you see a lot more um, young people not practicing as much as they were brought up with, and to continue that and bring that into the lives of our children will only strengthen our lives, our children's lives, and the Jewish community as a whole. Do you take part in the PJ Library and in JCC events that they hold with your children? We do. Um, our kids both get PJ Library books every month. Um, they're excited because it's addressed to them, so they get to open up their books and we'll read to them and, and not only just teach them the things at home um, as opposed to what they get in Hebrew school or, or through our families, but we are able to share those experiences with them and talk about how we were brought up and the traditions we practice with our family. Um, and JCC events, we're, we're there all the time. Um, we have co-chaired a couple of events with the JCC. Um, Tell us about these events. Sure. Um, we co-chaired Saturday Night with the J um, for the last two years, um, an event for young adults and young couples to come together to raise money for the GCC and the camp program there. Um, just a fun night to kind of let loose and, and meet new people or, you know, be, spend a night with your friends. Yeah, I recently did an event for dads. The, the dads are always forgotten, so we had a dad's night out with uh, drinks and, and cigars uh, for the parents, for the dads of the, the school. And it was just a good time to get out and, and make new friends. Do you feel that uh, we're doing a, enough as a Jewish community to bring young families together or we need to engage, go out and engage people in other ways? I think there's always more that can be done. Um, we, like I said, not being from here, um, our first experiences meeting friends down here was actually through the JCC. Um, Dave's father had encouraged us to play flag football. 
And the first few couples that we met were all young Jewish couples like ourselves without children. And those relationships blossomed into the new Jewish community that we have now and the new friends that we have. They're um, still our friends. Now we all have kids and we hang out together. And those are the first people we met when, when we moved down here. It was all because of JCC inter, inter, uh, intramural sports. Yeah. If you could wave a magic wand, what would you like to see as the ultimate idea of our Jewish community? Wow, that's a tough question. Do you have a good answer for that? I, I mean, I think it's it's more engaging more the families, um, engaging the young adults, having both events for young adults, for families together, for things with dads and daughters or some moms and sons, um, just a variety of, of opportunities to be able to meet new people, to share your experiences, um, and to make connections so that those will last throughout the Jewish community and, you know, as we're bringing up our kids. Yeah, there's so many events that we, we can choose from and that we often partake in, whether it's around holidays or otherwise. Uh, I don't know what else could be done. We, we, like we said, we've met so many great people through these things that um, it's different from where I grew up, where there were really no Jews in my community. So if we wanted to meet other people with similar backgrounds, we had to partake in things like the JCC and through our temple. Down here, um, through the J, through our temple, we're able to meet new people, make new friends, and, and partake in these you know, religious holidays and, and have a good time meeting, you know, making new friends. You seem to both be so committed, and what, what motivated you to take a leadership role in, in this community? I think it's in both of our nature. Yeah. Um, we're both really natural born leaders, and I think it comes from our parents as well. Um, both of our parents were very involved in their Jewish communities, both in Chicago and DC, and seeing that as, as children, that's naturally what we wanted to do. Um, and, it's, and it's only helped and blossomed, and hopefully that our children will, will see the leadership role that we're taking and, and want to take the same role. Yeah, I agree. It's, it started from high school student council, college student council, and, and doing things all, all along. And like Mandy said, her parents are very involved with Federation. My parents are very involved in the JCC and, and likewise um, on both fronts that um, this is just understood. This is what we're supposed to do. I hope the rest of the Jewish community is as successful as you two are in your leadership capacity. And thank you for joining us. Thank Thanks you. For having us. Coming up, coming up, the founder of the groundbreaking PJ Library Program, which has connected tens of thousands of families around the world with Jewish values in a very unique way. If it wasn't for the financial assistance, I couldn't come here. Every little bit helps. She says, I get stronger every day. When you have a child and you want the absolute best for them, it's twice as important to make the community strong. Live the way you want to live in the luxury you deserve at Morse Life's Tradition. Choose a floor plan that suits your lifestyle and make it your own. Impeccable service and the gold standard in specialized signature health care. Live healthy, live happy. At Tradition is where the living is easy, every day and in every way. Your home, Morse Life, Tradition. Live the way you want to live, in the luxury you deserve. At Morse Life's Tradition, choose a floor plan that suits your lifestyle and make it your own impeccable service and the gold standard in specialized signature health care live healthy live happy at tradition is where the living is easy every day and in every way your home morse life tradition interested in a different kind of israel travel experience join dozens of local community members for a personalized journey through Israel during the country's 70th year of independence. Israel Your Way is Jewish Federation community mission to Israel in June 2018. Five immersive tracks will explore Israel's technology and innovation, arts and culture and cuisine, spirituality and religion, politics and security, and even a track for first-timers and families. Learn more and sign up while there's still space at IsraelYourWay.org.
We're here with Harold Grinspoon, internationally renowned philanthropist, founder of PJ Library Program, which delivers free books to, and music to Jewish families. And you're also the founder of a National Life and Legacy Program. Also, we have Rosalie Eisen, who's the senior program officer of Grinspoon Foundation. Welcome. Welcome to the program. Great to be here. Thank you. Harold, tell us a little bit about your life and what inspired you to become such a philanthropist. Well, I, I was brought up a very poor boy. Um, and I was born in 1929. Hitler came along in 1933, 1939, Poland was invaded. And I remember the, the horrors of Hitler. And I always knew that if I ever made any money, I was going to give it away Jewishly. I think that if you're an entrepreneur and you're a creative person and you create wealth, you want, you want to make sure you invest that money well. You want to get a return on investment. And I think PJ Library in the Jewish world is a great return. Let's talk about PJ Library. It's a national program that's in implemented locally through our Friedman Commission for Jewish Education. How did you come up with the idea? It's amazing. I'm in the car one day, and there's this gal who's talking on public radio. Her name is Dolly Parton. <laughs> so we picked up Dolly Parton and became her partner in Springfield, Massachusetts. A year or so went by, and my daughter-in-law introduced me to Jewish books. I said, you know, that's a real good idea. So I took Dolly Parton, my daughter-in-law, who runs our foundation, Winnie Sandler. I put them together, and lo and behold, PJ shows up. And now we have 200 communities around America doing 180,000 books every month. That's really remarkable. <laughs> yes, it really is. We started off with 200 books. We're now 180,000 books every month. What type of people do you send the books to? Who do you send? Who's your audience? Really, any family that is raising Jewish children. And really what we are finding, we're finding families on social media, Facebook, mommy blogs. At this point, 11 years into PJ Library, it, there's so much of new families are joining through word of mouth because everybody knows how important it is to read to your children. So really what PJ Library is doing is, is taking something that parents are already doing and putting, but, but bringing the Jewish values and the Jewish concepts and stories in, and it just makes it very easy. The books are always free to the families. They come right to the door, into the home, and it makes it easy for families. You did an evaluation in 2016 uh, of of the efficacy of the program. Can you tell us what you found? I would love to. It's really, it's a, it's a home run, Harold. You really hit a home run with PJ Library. You know, high 98% of families love the books. 93% of the families say it's a valuable parenting tool. So while you see Jewish kids' books, the books really are a tool to reach the family. It's the parents that are making the decision about you know what they're going to read. They really are inviting Judaism into the into the home with that. And I think an exciting thing is that we found that more than three quarters of the families want to be further engaged with their local Jewish community and with the community like you have here and all the wonderful program going on. It's really easy to, for families to want to engage with all the programming that's happening around PJ Library. Well, I also heard that 6.5 million books are read a year, which is a remarkable 
figure. And that's just considering if they're reading, you know, sort of once a week. But I think for, you know, those of us that are intimately involved, we know that, you know, our kids, grandkids are pulling PJ Library books off the shelves constantly. And Palm Beach County happens to have a very successful PJ Library. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, reaching 1,600 children every month, and that's that's a large percentage of the families and kids here. So, and and your and the Friedman Commission for Jewish Education is really doing an exemplary job of expanding on the books and really engaging those families further into the Jewish communities with the programming. Let's have a little fun for a second. Harold has we have three books that I think are your favorites? Yes. You have Bagels from Benny? Bagels from Benny, which is, I think, an incredible story. It's a very popular book. And the next book is not so popular, but I love it. It's The Schmutzy Family. And for those of you who have not read it, it's about Shabbat and how people clean up their act for Shabbat. Oh, that's a great message. And the third book is a book that I'm told I shouldn't mark it because we don't mail it out. It happens to be a great book. I have to show I, sh- I have to show everybody this book. Harold's wife ha- wrote that's, this book. Is that right? That's right. And it talks about Harold. He doesn't want to tell about himself. He likes to dance, and he always loves to get good advice. Right. <laughs> and he's a strong man who has faced many challenges. And you're especially good at raising funds for pra- for favorite projects. So, and you're always busy. This is really quite something. My wife wrote this book, and Todd Pa did the illustrations. And um, I guess maybe I'm not so modest, but that's my one of my favorite books. I don't blame you. <laughs> And I wanted to just add, you start off by saying a national program. Really, PJ Library has grown in these 11 years to a strong international program. We are now in Russian and Spanish and Hebrew and English and just launched in our 16th country and will continue to expand globally. That's quite remarkable. We Jews are amazing people. We are an amazing, amazing people. Uh, history is amazing. How much we've accomplished is amazing. As a tribe, how much we've grown, how many different opinions we have on any given topic. But I guess that's what makes us great. But we actually need to keep that legacy going. And the only way to do it are programs such as yours, the continuity. Programs such as ours that you do, because you're the key factor in this equation, and we are so pleased to be here with you and working with this wonderful community on life and legacy. Well, we want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to participate. Thank you. Mosaic is brought to you by these generous sponsors and underwriters.